back with another video for you guys to see and first of all I would like to wish you all a very happy new year. This is our first video back after the new year. I've been really really busy at work but we got this Paw Post box in the other day and I have opened it just to save time for the video. I've not had a peep in it yet so I'm really excited to see what is in this box. Now December's box for the Christmas items was very very good. We loved them, we enjoyed them, the dogs loved it. So I'm interested to see what this box has to offer for the new year. Now as you can see I've kind of changed where I'm sitting. I'm just kind of trying different things with the, the lighting and everything. It is sunny outside but it is going on for and the sun is setting so it's not as bright as what I was hoping it would be but I've got one light on and let's just hope for the best. Okay so let me just move in a bit because I'm a bit far away. There we go. Okay so let's go ahead and open this box. So as always we have our wee leaflet in the box and this leaflet doesn't tell me anything about the items that's in this box this month. Um, let me see. Happy New Year from Paw Post. Don't forget to take a photo of your pet with the Paw Post box and share it with us on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram to be in with a chance of winning a free box. Now, I've sent Roxy's picture in a wee while ago. I think it was October's box. And she got in to be one of the nominees but came second and never won. But seconds, just as good. Okay, so that is the wee leaflet there. Nothing tells me about the items on here, so it'll be a bit of a surprise. Let's have a look. So this is the way the box comes, and I can see that the dogs are going to be very, very excited about this box. As you can see, Pixie is really excited. So it comes neatly packed, which is very good. And there looks to be a lot of items in here. Let's have a wee look and see. Okay, so the first thing that we have is a rosewood, it's a dog thing, cyber rubber rugby ball. So it looks like this. And it looks like the dogs would have a lot of fun with this. Roxy in particular, she likes the kind of rubbery things, uh, ropey things. So um, that is going to go down very well. Let me just get a pair of scissors here. Okay, so take the tags off. I always take the tags off before they play with the toys. Yes, what is it? What is it? You want to get it? Go get it. And it's rather bouncy too, so it looks as if it would be good for outside as well. Nope, no interested. No, let's see if it's in the box. Okay, the next thing we have in here is a Vico ro Pixie, you need to wait. Put it back, please. No. Should we have one of the toys? You sneaky devil. So yeah. Okay, so this is a Beko rope, the eco-friendly rope toy jungle double knot. And it's 100% toxin free, made from natural hemp. Rough and tough design for hours of fun. And rope even helps to clean my teeth. Roxy, this is for you. Roxy loves the ropes and look at the size of it. It is tiny. Absolutely tiny. You want to play with it? Okay, there you go. Take it. Good girl. She loves it. Okay, so that's another good thing. Now, if I can get this off of Pixie, I'll uh, show this first just so she can go away and play with it. Pixie, can I see please? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Michael, good girl, wait. Wait. Okay, so this is a lovely little bear. Wait, you need to wait. You need to let people see it. I know you're excited, but you need to let people see it. Pixie, Pixie, Pixie. You need to have patience. Okay, so this is a bear and it's a nice little fluffy bear and I can see half of it's on my carpet already. 
the, the hairs the kind of hair that pulls out very easily so I can see myself hoovering after Pixie playing with this and I'll just show you up close if Pixie will let me and it's got a nice wee tartan bow it's got a squeaker it's very soft <laughs> she loves it <laughs> right I'll be going <laughs> absolutely loves it so that is a very good toy Where's your rope? Where is it? Okay. Okay, now the next thing we have in here is a natural eau de dog for handbags and man bags infused with cedarwood and vetiver essential oils, alcohol and paraben free. Lovingly made in the UK and it's called Butch Leather. Rub it, sniff it and love it. Butchandbest.com. They're also available on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. So this is what the box looks like. Okay, so let's have a sniff. So it looks like a kind of perfume for your dogs. And it comes in a wee bottle, small enough for your handbag. Where's the beer? Where's the beer? Did you got the beer? I'm not liking it. I'm going to be honest, I'm not fond of the smell of this. It's very strong, very potent, and it smells like a perfume that you wouldn't, that I wouldn't wear. And I've got perfumes for dogs that smell less strong. I don't like putting strong smells on my dogs um, just because I don't want them don't want their coat to be overpowered by a smell so the kind of perfumes and everything that we've got for the dogs are very faint smell they're not overly powerful so I don't know if I'm going to use this or not yes it would be good in emergencies if I need it but I don't find myself using a lot of it so it is a very strong smell and I'm not I'm not fond of this. I'm sorry to say. Okay, excuse me, can we watch your bowl please? What happened to the bear? Where is it? Where did it go? Where's the bear? Where's the bear? I've got the bear. Okay, so the next thing we have in here that looks like the three treats that are in this box. Now that is three toys, three treats and a perfume spray or a perfume spray. Um, so it's a very good box this, this month. So the next thing we have in here is our Lily's Kitchen Natural Snack Bars and it is the Red Berry Boost. Now, we love Lily's Kitchen. We're back on the food of Lily's Kitchen and the dogs absolutely love it. So this will come in handy. Let's just check the date on it. So it runs out in December of this year. So we've got a whole year to use this bar. And that's really good because I do have a couple in there as well in the drawer to use up. So they come in handy for when we're maybe going out a long walk and the dogs need a wee kind of snack in between times before their, their dinner or after their breakfast or whatever so it comes in handy and it's really easy to break we really really like Lily's Kitchen I'm not going to open it just because I have a whole load of treats open just now and I don't want to waste this bar because once it's opened it's going to need to get eaten but we love Lily's Kitchen the next thing we have in here is the Whiff and Brew Healthy Herbal Dog Teas. Now, we got one of these for Christmas from Misty and I think it was the green pack. It was a performance one. But this is for skin and coats and it's caffeine free and it is naturally balanced, specialised blends, high in essential fatty acids and helps with allergy symptoms. So this is a seven day 
bag and all you do is add one doggy tea bag to 250ml of boiling water, allow to infuse for 4 minutes, remove the doggy tea bag with a spoon and add a further 750ml of cold water to help cool it down and stir and pour the contents into the dog bowl and leave for them to enjoy. So, you can give this to your dogs for over four months old. So it seems really, really good. I know you can get different kind of brands, a, a different kind of needs, so you can get performance, fresh breath, anxiety, which I think would be good for these two. Um, you can get the skin coat one, you can get ones for senior dogs. And it just, it, it literally looks like a tea bag because we've opened the one that we got from Misty and we have tried it and I'm going to do a video on it because I think it's hilarious the fact that the dogs have a tea bag and obviously with Pixie is obsessed when my mum has a cup of tea here that she now has her own tea. So it's quite funny actually I never thought that you could ever get a tea bag for your dogs. smells very herbally so if I can just show you guys it's like a wee kind of triangular tea bag and it's got loads of herbs in it all mashed up and you just put that into the, the hot water and you make tea for your dogs so that is very very good and as you can see the dogs love it and think it's a treat have it later. So we are excited to try that and again there is seven tea bags in there so we are well equipped for afternoon tea with Pixie and Roxy so stay tuned for that video. That will be a good one. Okay and the last thing in this box is a nice treat for me to open just now for you guys so you can have a wee munch. Yes. And it is perfectly natural treats for dogs, gluten free, hypoallergenic, which is good. Um, Veni Dog it's called and it's pure venison special treats. 100% natural air dried British venison meat with absolutely no additives. So that is what we love. And again, the best before date is the end of this year, but obviously with no open it, we want to need to use it. So this is natural air dried venison bites made with 100% pure venison meat and edible sausage casing derived from natural collagen with no additives, gluten free, hypoallergenic, su suitable for dogs with food intolerances. Okay, so it's air dried, not freeze dried, so it retains all its nutrients and flavours for your dog. Feed as an occasional snack under supervision, any crumbs left in the packet can be sprinkled into their food as an appetiser. And the ingredients is venison meat, prepared from 180 grams of meat per 60 grams. So that looks very, very healthy and a bit easy And the dogs are all fluffy today because it is bath day, so it has been a busy, busy day. Sit, wait. My goodness, am I going to get these open? Sit. How on earth am I getting these open? to this every single month because it's a nice wee surprise for myself and dogs and it lets us see what products are out there that are 100% natural because at the moment there's only very few that I can see but every time we get a box in it's um, we can see that there is more of a variety out there that is 100% natural and organic ingredients which is what I like to feed the dogs obviously. So. And they look like wee twigs to be honest, wee kind of branches. There you 
가지고 I'm perfectly kind of dry. Do you want one? Would you like one? Give me a paw. And the other one. You need to wait your turn. Stand. Stand. Sit. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Good girl. There you go. Right, we need to fix it. Pixie, come here. Come here, Pixie. Give me a paw. And the other one. Stand. No. Come here. Stand. Twitter. Lie down. Give me a kiss. Good girl. There you go. Mm. Let's see what they think about that. Currently munching away. Okay, so that was a very good box this month. And we always love the surprise. We are looking forward to what next month has to offer and as you've seen there is no Beautiful Joes this month. We used to get the Beautiful Joes 100% Ox Lover in every month's box last year to help the dog in need. I don't know whether or not they're going to bring something like that out again this year but something different. I'm not entirely sure. This is the kind of first year where we've done this so come April that'll be as a year. So because we started mid last year, they already had Beautiful Joes out for the year. So whether or not they're going to bring, bring something out in place of that to also help dogs in need, then I'm not sure. We'll just need to wait and see what happens. Um, but that is a very, very good box this month and we are happy with all the items. And Pixie loves the bee. You love the bee? Okay, so I'll have the link to Paw Post down below if you fancy having a wee look for yourself and treating your dog to a box of goodies. And, and also please like the video and please leave us a comment and let us know what you think and we will see you guys later. Bye!